You're watching Fugitive Red Eye, and since tomorrow is Halloween, I thought I'd look at some horror-themed things. I'm going to use... going to look at my horror anime collection and my horror book collection. May seem like a weird combination, especially since I'm specifically excluding manga from this collection. But I thought it'd be nice to have a different themed Halloween collection video every year. So let's start off with, we have Higurashi When They Cry, one of my all-time favorite horror series. It has a lot of cutesy shit in it, but overall the horror definitely makes up for that, and it, it's really suspenseful and very interesting, particularly the first arc, but it is still good throughout. There's the second season of that, When They Cry Kai. Here we have Shiki, which is a great vampire series where a village gets attacked by vampires. I highly recommend it. Here we have Devilman, the OVA collection. I've talked about this plenty of times on the channel. Great series. This is the bootleg version. This is the official version. And this is the old DVD official version. This is by no means a complete collection because it would be too long. Plus, I'm really disorganized, so some of the stuff has been misplaced. Here we have Serial Experiments Lane, Volumes 2, 3, and 4. I do have Volume 1, but I wasn't able to find it in time for this video. But it's a fantastic sci-fi horror series that's really weird, and I highly recommend it. Here we have Wicked City, a great demon movie. Um, very interesting. Uh, it's kind of short, but overall pretty good. Here we have Demon Lord Dante. This is an anime based on the prototype 2 Devil Man, so it's very similar in concept. Here we have Tokyo Ghoul, seasons 1 and 2. Fantastic series. I did see season 3 on Hulu. It's nowhere near as good as these two. This is about a guy who becomes what's called a ghoul, which means he needs to eat human flesh to survive, but he's also half-human, so it's really interesting. Here we have Claymore, which is a great medieval demon horror sort of thing, which has these part-demon, part-human things called Claymore uh, that go out and hunt other demons called Yoma. Here we have Elf and Lead, which is about this mutant named Lucy, who's like the next form of human evolution, and she wants to wipe out all of current humanity. And, of course, we have Yorotsuki Doji, which is a hentai series that's also a demon horror series, and it's fantastic. Here we have Mystery of the Necronomicon, which is a Lovecraftian, fairly softcore hentai series that's also really interesting and follows a lot of Lovecraft tropes. Speaking of Lovecraft, here we'll get to the books. We have H.P. Lovecraft Great Tales of Horror. Contains a lot of great stories of H.P. Lovecraft. I definitely recommend reading it. Then we have these tr two books that are supposed to be based on true things that have happened to people that are scary. I haven't read them yet, but I am interested in them because I am very interested in the paranormal in general. Finally, we have Scary Stories to Scale Scare in the Dark, the complete trilogy of the original books with the original artwork. That is very important because if you look at this artwork, it can be fucking terrifying. Like, you got stuff like that, stuff like that, stuff like that. Anyway, I definitely recommend checking some of these out for Halloween. Uh, this has been Fugitive Red Eye, and you have a great day. Subscribe to Fugitive Red Eye.